Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I'm, I'm first of all going to put a disclaimer out about the title of this video. Um, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to put anyone down, put anyone's aspirations or goals down or anything like that. I'm just simply trying to be a realist. Um, and really just give, give people a bit of warning and try and give people a bit of clarity for people who uh, d don't have much and kind of just get a bit carried away with um, hopes and dreams and aspiration and all that stuff. Um, basically, the title of the video is very blunt. I'm a bit of a blunt guy. Um, I don't really sugarcoat stuff. I just say it how it is. Um, so what, what what do I mean by don't be a fucking idiot? So what I mean is, um, so one of my favorite YouTubers of all time is a guy called Max Tuning. Um, awesome guy, hilarious, brilliant fitness content, just a wicked personality. So yeah, his YouTube channel is amazing. Um, he recently released a video whereby he was explaining why he had quit his job. And that to me was ridiculously inspirational. Like to see that, you know, to, to have watched a YouTuber go from like college to working full time and balancing YouTube and grafting his ass off until silly o'clock in the morning and then getting to the point finally where he can leave his job and his dreams and his hard work has paid off and he's now able to fund a very comfortable life with um, things that he's incredibly passionate about. That for me was so inspiring and I was like, you know what, I need to get on this, I need to get on this YouTube game, I need to work my ass off like Max did and get to that point. Because that, that point to me is a dream of mine, as it is for many people on YouTube. But I mean, as with all videos, I started scrolling through the comments and there were a few comments that worried me. Um, kind of as as a, as a, a realist, I mean, there were guys there that were saying that they were going to do the same or that they're really thinking about doing the same you know, quitting their, their, you know, their nine to five or however, you know, their, their, their daytime employment jobs, their steady income to do YouTube and social media and stuff. And you click on these guys' accounts and, you know, in some situations, you know, they had kind of under 100 subscribers, guys like me that had kind of, you know, under 10 subscribers saying that. And I just kind of thought it was kind of worrying because, you know, Max, it's one thing that Max said in his video that I think a lot of people kind of, it just went in one ear and out the other because they got so kind of caught up in the moment. And the fact that they were like, I want to do that is when he said, I was making enough, or I'm not quoting him, but he says something along the lines of he was making enough money from sponsorships, YouTube, his clothing line, um, all of that jazz, that he was making more money than he was at his corporate job. Um, which is awesome. That was, it just shows that he's worked so hard. He's now at that point that he doesn't need corporate employment, which is wicked. Um, but that line, I think a lot of people ignored because if you have financial responsibilities like me, I have a mortgage to pay for, I have bills, I have food and I enjoy kind of having spare money. I enjoy saving uh, rainy days. I enjoy, you know, being able to spend time with my partner and do things. Um, so I need a steady income. Now, I am nowhere near at the point where I could quit my job to do YouTube and social media full time. And that's not to say that I won't ever get to that point. But right now, I, I am nowhere near in that position. Because the reason I say that is because Max Tuning has been doing YouTube for so long. I mean, I mean, he's been doing it for years and years, putting up regular, awesome content. And he's now at that position where he's built himself almost like his mini empire and, he, you know, ever forward and everything like that. And he's now, you know, at the point. Whereas, you know, there are, you know, for me to quit, you to quit my job now to follow YouTube now, I have a lot of self-belief, I have a lot of confidence, I have a lot of passion, I have a lot of ideas for YouTube. Do I think I'm going to make it? Yes. Am I going to make it in the next three to four months? No. That's not me being pes a pessimist, that's me being a realist. Because to build a, a following where you get to the point where you can provide for yourself and financially uh, fund yourself through things like YouTube, it does take time, guys. I mean, it takes years to develop that kind of following. Um... And that's just me looking at it as a realist, looking at how long it's taken Max Tuning, who in my eyes is one of the best YouTubers out there, how long it's taken him to get to that point. And I'm like, 
you know, if you if you've got financial responsibilities, you know, if you've got parents that are going to bankroll you, or a really rich partner, or just a shit ton of money in the bank, and you can bankroll yourself for kind of a year, then yeah, wicked, do YouTube full time. If I was in that position, I'd fucking do it. I'd be like, yeah, why not? I've got the ability to, but I'm not. And many of us are in that position where we've got financial responsibilities. And what I'm trying to say is have a goal, have a dream, work hard for that dream, but don't be a fucking idiot and just go, I have loads of self-belief, so I'm going to I'm going to quit my full-time job and do you you know, do whatever full-time, not just specific to YouTube, but just anything that takes a, a while to build up a decent following because it's give it a few months guys, that's all it needs. Stop you you stop you're not able to pay your rent. You're not able to pay your bills. You you can't you stop kind of you're not able to buy food and you're borrowing money, things like that. It won't take long, unfortunately, in this day and age for you to be in a financial fucking shit heap and you're, you're in a mess, effectively. And that is something I do not wish upon anyone because, unfortunately, in the world we live in today, finances dictate everything, unfortunately. Um, the world is expensive, um, and things cost money. Every living, breathing costs money. So, all I'm saying is, be patient, guys. If you have a steady income and you have a YouTube dream like me, stick with the the steady income until you get to that point. Don't kind of don't be a fucking idiot and just be like, no, I've got shit tons of self belief. Okay, but can you pay your rent with self belief? Can you pay your bills with self belief? Can you go to the supermarket and buy food with self belief? No, you can't. You can build a brilliant YouTube channel on a dream, but just the logistics of it are, and the real, looking at it as a realist, it's gonna take time. And unfortunately, in today's day and age, time is fucking expensive. And like I said, unless you're in an extremely privileged position, if you're like me, normal guy, financial outgoings, we're not in a position where we can do that. And that's the only warning I wanna put out there for you guys who have that dream to be self-sufficient through things like YouTube and passions in general is really just don't don't get carried away, you know? Um, like for me, I'm very fortunate in that the job I do, the full-time job I'm employed with, I, I really enjoy. You know, I get a lot of fulfillment out of it. I really enjoy it. There's a fantastic progression within the, the industry I work in, within the company I work in. So I'm quite fortunate in the fact that I really enjoy going to work. And I know that there are people out there that are not in that position, that have a job where they uh, do not feel, feel fulfilled. They do not f get enjoyment out of it. You know, they're in a position where they are not enjoying Monday to Friday. They do not like it or whatever shifts you work. Um, Unfortunately, we sometimes find ourselves in a position where we just have to bite the bullet. We have to put up with it. And if anything, use it as motivation to, to, to really push this so that you can you know, quit and, and, and do your passion full time even sooner. But at the same time, you can't forget about your financial responsibilities in the, ch in the chasing of a dream because the, the financial responsibilities will always be there you know, if you have them, you know, and if they say, for example, for whatever reason, I, I suddenly lost my job. Um, I would obviously look for a job that I enjoy. But if I was really in a position where finances were really starting to crawl up my ass, and I just needed income, there are, I'm not going to say what jobs, so there are jobs out there, you can just go out and get, um, they just need a bum on a seat, and you get a salary for it. Um, there are jobs out there that that that, that you can just go and get, um, regardless of your skill level, um, that pay okay. Um, I would go and get one of those if I was in a position where my financial was. It was either a case of like losing my house and and you know all of that stuff. Um, I would go and get one of those bum on seat type jobs because as much as I would love to go, you know what. This might. This is a sign for me to go and follow my YouTube dream. As much as I can follow my YouTube dream, my reality is a nightmare because I've got no income, and like I said, things are finite. I've got financial responsibilities, and people out there are the same. You know, we're not in a position where we can do that. Um, and like I said, it takes time to get that following. So I'm not trying to put people's dreams and hopes down, guys. I'm just trying to be a realist. I'm just trying to warn you that 
the world costs money. Life is expensive, unfortunately. And unless you've got people bankrolling you, have a YouTube dream, have a, a passion, have something that you want to follow and that you want to fund your life. But your financial, if you have financial responsibilities, they will always take first priority. They will always be there. So just make sure that you are being sensible, you are being realistic, and that you are not getting carried away. If you get to the point where you look at your finances, you look at your, your job, employment, income, and you look at your YouTube or, or passion income, we'll call it, and this is the same or more than this, then by all means, go ahead and take the jump and do it full time. But until that point, don't, don't, <laughs> it's what I'm saying, because unless you're willing to give up your financial responsibilities to chase your dream, which some people, like I said, are in a position to do that, me, myself, I'm not, but like I said, I am fortunate in the fact that I enjoy my job, there are people out there who don't, but regardless of whether you enjoy your job or not, if you have financial responsibilities that you are not willing to give up and you do not want to gamble with, be careful, bite the bullet, stick with it, use it as motivation to push your passion harder. Your time will come when you can use that passion to fund your lifestyle. But until then, guys, as the title of the video says, very bluntly, don't be a fucking idiot. Be sensible, be a realist, because unfortunately, in, in this day and age, you have to be a realist. Stick with it. Your time will come. That's end of the rant. Um, don't really like doing overly negative stuff, but it was really kind of biting at the back of my head that I had to put this message out there because um, I think there's a lot of people that agree with me. Um, so, you know, just keep with it, guys. Keep your passion alive. Keep pushing your dream. Your time will come. But do not forget about the real world outside of that passion. Cheers for listening, guys. Agree, disagree, please comment on the video. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks a lot.